In-app content plays a vital role in determining the completeness of your app. AppMaker presents you with a wide range of opportunities to bring out the best design required for building an app. A variety of blocks are provided for this. There are a number of in-app page designs that you can add or remove. All the updates made with the widgets will be reflected immediately on the app. Let's look at the AppMaker dashboard. This is your home page. On the top right corner, you can see the new page options. Click to add a new page. A blank page appears on which you can add different widgets as you click. Here's the list of widgets that are available with AppMaker. The first one is Banner. Banner occupies a spot within your app layout, either at the top or bottom of the device screen. It stays on the screen while users are interacting with the app. You can add banners that can be used to showcase special offers, new items released or performance signed action. So, when you click on Banner here, you'll see it on the app page. You can upload an image by clicking the Upload Image button, or you can insert it from any URL. When you click on the Upload Image, either you can upload the file, or you can select from the Media Library. You can click on the image and click Select. You can see the banner here, so if you need, you can provide an action for it as you like. And after making changes you can click on Save Changes, and these changes will be reflected automatically in the app. There is also an option to change the in-app page background as you like from the right-hand side settings. Also, you can change the page title as well. Here you can change the banner image as well, by clicking the Replace Image button. So that's about banners. A grid block in the page is used to display multiple product offers, new releases in the column format in a single line. So, when you click on Grid, there are options to upload images like in the case of a banner. You can select multiple images for this, and click on Select. This will be displayed in columns. For these images, you can also select suitable actions. There are options to adjust the number of columns shown. The maximum number of columns that can be added is 5, and the minimum is 1. There is also an option to show the View More button, Show Grid Title. You can also provide a title if you want for the grid, and more buttons if you want. After making changes you can click on Save Changes. Next is the menu item. As you can see there are options to add multiple menu items you can also provide necessary actions also for each menu item. Next one is the text widget. If you need to add a heading or add it as a text item simply with the text widget and type whatever you like. There's also an option to provide action for this text widget as well. Next widget is Image Scroller. With the Image Scroller, you can add images to create horizontal scrollers and highlight different categories in your store. This will let you redirect users using specific actions. Images can be added and scrolled one by one using these widgets. You can add multiple images like that of a grid. There's also an option to provide action for each image and with custom width for this. A title can also be shown for the images. You can add a view more button to make it more interactive. There are a few more buttons on the right hand side. Use these buttons to provide the actions. Next is Slider. Slider is a block used in in-app pages. Multiple slides will be displayed in the same space and for each slide, an action can be assigned. You can click on these images to upload images and corresponding actions. Users can slide through the images if you create the images with the slider block. Next is Product by Collections. This is a pre-built widget which can be shown horizontally to list the products based on collections. You can select by collection from the collections available. For example, if you select for dresses collection you can see the products in that collection. The collection you selected will be listed in a horizontal manner. You can also provide actions for it as well. It can also show view more button to display more products. When you click on view more button, you will be redirected to all the product list page. There's an also option to show the title as well. Next is the product scroller. A product scroller is used to display a particular product on your in-app page and you can view the products by scrolling them in your app. You can access product scrollers from in-app pages. When you click on product scroller, the widget is added here and click on the plus button to select a product from your store. You can add multiple products to a drop down on the right hand side. Select the product from the list here and it will be shown the same as the product scroller, in a horizontal manner.
the widgets that are available with AppMaker dashboard can be rearranged by clicking on the arrow. There is an option to duplicate, move or remove the block by clicking on the options given on the right hand side. After making the changes, you can click on Save Changes, and all these changes will be displayed on the app real time. You can also set this page as a home page if you like. There is an option to duplicate this page, if you need to make a page with the same design. There's an option to delete the home page, and the specific in app page as well. Now, let's look at how these widgets are reflected inside the app. You can see the mobile screen on the right hand side and the AppMaker dashboard on the left. The widgets that we have added are visible on the app. The first one is the banner, then the grid images, the menu items that we added earlier. Next is the image scroller inside the app. You can scroll between these images, and the slider slides automatically, or you can also slide as you wish. Next one is a horizontal product scroller. The products are visible with the title here. And next one is the product scroller. The products that we have added are displayed here inside the app. The changes that we make on the AppMaker dashboard will be automatically reflected real-time in the app once you refresh the app. That's all about widgets. Thank you.